What if you had to turn down a promotion just to be able to continue to afford quality child care? In tonight's special Zero to Five report on why early learning matters, Nine News reporter Brandy Smith talked with some parents making decisions like this one. Brandy? Yes, Carol. Practically everyone I interviewed talked about how critical this zero to five time frame is. But for those who work, affording quality child care can be a difficult equation that forces parents to get creative. The moment you decide to have children, you ask yourself to work or not to work. Send your children to preschool or keep them at home. And in this economy, the answers are even harder to come by. I've definitely sacrificed needs for myself and for my house. Erica Boggs is a married mother of four. Two are in school and two are in a home daycare. She and her husband are self-employed and they get child care vouchers that supplement the cost of daycare. Tracy Rowe, vice president of programs, says 76% of families at their Cincinnati early learning centers receive some support through the state voucher system, and some parents are having to do the unthinkable to maintain that support. Some parents are turning down promotion opportunities in order to continue to receive the, the services that they need. Um, through assistance with paying for their child care. Earlier this year, the income guidelines shifted in Ohio, where parents must make less than $9 an hour to be eligible for child care assistance. If you're like a dollar outside of that income guideline, then all of a sudden it's assumed that you can afford to pay for it, but you really can't. You know, you're, you're, you make a dollar over, and that dollar is just not enough. I had to cut my days back. So like right now, I only work three days a week. In 2010, parents paid $7,750 a year on average for an infant in a center in Ohio. That's around $650 a month. And costs were around $6,000 a year for preschool age children. Some of our families struggle. Um, our middle income families tend to struggle the most. Child care is very expensive. Taking a children, a child, excuse me, from birth to five through a child care center is a college education in many uh, circumstances, especially when you look at the high cost of providing infant care. Even a three-star rated center like CELC isn't full because people can't afford it. Sally Westheimer heads up 4C, a nonprofit that rates child care facilities in Ohio and Kentucky. I want to emphasize that the early years are the time that children are building their foundation for lifelong learning. Uh, we often spend a lot of time thinking about the right college or even the right high school, um, thinking that is helping a child plan for the future, but really these early years are critical. And so when parents think about whether to cut corners, this is not the time to cut corners. Jasmine Nicholas and her husband didn't want to send their children to daycare. But when their daughter Penny was a baby, they both worked, so they had to get creative. And luckily, we had the types of jobs where we could work out the hours that way to where I was home when he was at work and he was home when I was at work. It worked great because she was always with one of us, but we were like ships passing in the night. Then they decided it was time for Jasmine to stay home full time with their seven month old son while their three year old is in preschool. It's definitely tight. Uh, it's not something that we are easily affording, but it feels worth it. Um, especially after she started for a few weeks and we saw the change in her. I really want my kids to have a good childhood. That's really important to me because I, like, the good times in my childhood, like, I still think about those daily. Westheimer from 4C says the bottom line is parents are their children's first and best teacher. So it isn't necessary to send your child to an Ivy League preschool. In tomorrow's Zero to Five story, I'll report on the business community and how they're rallying around early learning. Carol and Brendan. Well done, Brandy. Very nice. Very nice. Well.